In a previous video, I explored the productivity possibilities of the new DeX present on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, which is the latest top-of-the-line mobile device from the Samsung flagship. If you missed this video, you can find a link to it in the video description. Today, I go a step further to find out if the new face of DeX for Windows PCs is anything meaningful or hype-worthy. For reference, the previous version of DeX for Windows comprised of a software suite installed on a Windows device and automatically activated whenever a DeX-compatible device was connected to the Windows PC. It looked and felt similar in many ways to the DeX software available with a direct connection of a DeX-compatible mobile device to a display, with one major difference. It provided the user access to Windows applications and an avenue to take advantage of the multi-screen extension capability available on the Windows operating system, thereby promoting an easy workflow and hence improving work productivity whenever the need arises. This previous version of Samsung DeX for Windows is no longer compatible with devices running Samsung One UI 7 and later. And for this reason, the Galaxy S25 Ultra would not be recognized when connected to a Windows PC with this old version of Samsung DeX for Windows. Microsoft Phone Link is the new face of DeX for Windows PCs. Microsoft Phone Link is a Windows application that allows a user to connect an Android mobile device like the Galaxy S25 Ultra to a Windows PC and access various phone functionalities directly from the computer. It aims to enhance user convenience and productivity. To set up Microsoft Phone Link on a Windows PC, connect the mobile device to the PC using a cable as demonstrated here. Any compatible cable should work just fine. Open the browser and type in this address www.aka.ms forward slash phone link and hit enter. Select Open Phone Link if this message pops up. The Phone Link app opens and you are prompted to sign into your Microsoft account if you are not signed in already. You can create a free Microsoft account for this if you do not have one. I click Continue to proceed. I receive this message and select Get Started to proceed. I am prompted to grant access to my mobile device and I proceed to do so. Once the required permission is granted on my mobile device, I can now access the messages, calls, apps, and photos on my mobile phone. I click on the phone image in the top left of the phone link app and grant the necessary permissions to the app to enable me display my phone screen and stream audio from my Galaxy S25 Ultra. A setup is required to make and receive calls from my PC. I click a button and I am guided through the setup steps. The steps are quite intuitive and easy to follow as demonstrated here. Generally, I find this replacement for DeX for Windows to be really robust and more integrated with the Windows operating system. Firstly, it is easier to manipulate multiple mobile apps within the Windows environment and from the Apps tab in the software, it is possible to open several apps at a given time and rearrange them to any position on the screen using the preset arrangement options in the Windows operating system. 
There is, however, a limit to the number of apps that can be opened at a given time. The maximum number of apps is about 6 or 7 apps. Going beyond the maximum number of apps simply closes one of the opened apps to make room for the newly opened app. There are also built-in restrictions within each app that determine the extent to which the windows can be maximized on the screen. Media apps like YouTube as well as gaming apps can be maximized across the screen to provide a better viewing experience. It is also possible to access the files on the phone via Windows File Explorer, make and receive calls from your PC, keep track of messages in the phone's messaging app, and also view and manage phone photos directly on the Windows PC. The phone link software also has some settings aimed at enhancing the user experience when using the software. The available settings are quite basic and nothing complicated or outside the ordinary. This is understandable since the software is designed to function more like an app in Windows OS rather than a standalone operating system. Some use cases where this app might come in useful include instances where a user needs to use a phone-only app alongside a PC-only app, or when a user simply desires to keep track of their phone's activities while working on their PC. This might be helpful in promoting better focus since all work and notifications can be monitored from a single source. This app has plenty of room for improvement, and I am very excited to explore more use cases for this app. Do let me know in the comments of some use cases that I might have overlooked. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, kindly leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching and do have a blessed and excellent day. Bye for now.